Kogla. Uh, working together with uh, Martin Schlacht, my DP, was uh, the most important uh, uh, besides screen writing process. This, especially the time we prepared before shooting, for I would say four weeks, we met almost every day uh, and uh, talked hours and hours uh, about every single shot, every single take, uh, the way we wanted to uh, to, to show the story, uh, the look we wanted to give the story. We both have the same vision of storytelling in a very economic way to show only uh, what is necessary. So the way I try to make a screenplay with dialogues as precise as possible, no words spent just because it's noise. It, everything has to say something or uh, we, we better shut up. Uh, and uh, the same way I work with, uh, with literature, work uh, with words, he, he works with uh, images. So it's always the question, is it necessary to move the camera? Is it necessary to go closer or to do, I don't know, a crane or a dolly or so? We have all these elements in this movie. It's not only, you know, like this, but it's very, very, not very often. And, and then it's very, very precisely and, is, and, and it really counts. We want to create uh, images that the audience is uh, allowed to, to, to look around in our images and we don't f want to force them all the time. We rather work in, in, in many of the scenes like uh, in theatre, and that's the tradition I come from, that I take care very much uh, about every detail. Uh, and, uh, and we see a rich, uh, 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 like a stage or something with foreground and background and everything. And we, uh, uh, we, are, we, are, we are never forced uh, where we have to look, we can, we can choose. The story offers us many, uh, many possibilities. And that's the way I, uh, we both loved working. So, so many scenes, for instance, uh, the information we get uh, from, uh, of course, the uh, condition our lead character is in his emotional situation and so on, we see. But the next step is that we have often a sort of image with uh, the colors of the background and the, p the people around him or the location around him and often there is a little scene in the background which really has the, the essential information whereas in the foreground mother and son for instance IKEA scenes say nothing when they meet for the first time and realize uh, she realized this is my son and she and and he looks at her he, she is his mother. And in the, in the background, we, we see a little scene with a small child and his mother, and he wants something, and she says, no, we don't need it, please put it back. So this is the way we, we both worked from the beginning when we made our, our concept. I never forgot that feeling from the time uh, when I was eight and wanted to become a director. It, it always was in my mind that one day, this dream should come true. Uh, I, I, I thought maybe it, was just, it wasn't just the right moment, and actually it wasn't, it was too early. Uh, so I developed stories, but I never was happy, uh, because I'm a very self-critic person, and I, I always thought, nah, no, it's not good enough. I cannot make a movie when I, uh, by the age of 30, my, my first movie, and then I was get, got older and then I was 35 and I thought, no, with, with 35 you have to be even much better, it's, it's not good enough. My wife was the one, she encouraged me and, and uh, because a, a little bit, she was a little bit fed up, I think, of, of why I, I was always complaining uh, my fate, you know, that I wish to become an actor or a writer, a filmmaker, and nothing I felt was good enough. And she told me, you, you cannot judge about your own work, you have to uh, have the courage to give it to somebody else. 
and, uh, and let him read it. And of course she was the first person, she always knew my stories, but I, it was the first time I finished one and this was the story of breathing because she was encouraging me and showed it to her and, and then, then it happened to become a movie.